claim to be royalty, but uh, had a head the size of a pumpkin. It must have been really something. You made it. Huh? Follow me. Now, uh, like I said in my letter, we are going into business. I've been breaking down animals since I was knee-high to a splinter. And I worked as a tanner up in Wisconsin back in the 60s. It's <sighs> a very long story. So I've got three words for you. Cripps Trading Company. Pristine pelts and animal parts for bulk sale. I know the market's there. All I need is a partner. So I'm thinking you source the materials. Skins, plumes, horns, and the like. I'll clean them and prep them. Then you go out and make the sale. Hell, we might even eat well out of this for once, too. Wouldn't that be nice? <coughs> Why are you still here, Willis? Your provisions, Mr. Oh, Cripps. Oh, yeah. Right, uh, pack the rest on there, will you? Now, uh, with any opportunity comes risk. The competitors, thieves, me losing interest in the whole idea. But if we combine our talents, we'll be unstoppable. Now, I will require a, an initial modest investment, of course, startup costs and such like, but you'll recoup that as fast as you can say, hey, Cripps, you handsome genius. <laughs> so how about it? Are you in? My talent? Good. Now, you won't regret this, I promise. Now, I've already got hold of a small wagon and most of what we'll need in terms of initial supplies. If you can grab that and bring it back to camp, we'll get everything set up. This is gonna be fun. Come on. You must be Cripps' friend. I'll try not to hold that against you. Your name's Maggie. Thanks for coming. She's back. What are you doing? It's me. <laughs> what the hell? I missed, didn't I? Don't come in like a bull through the fence next time, you old fool. <laughs> Your friend here managed to get it right. Lightning Maggie Fike. We all thought you were dead. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> Guess you'll be wanting a drink. Oh, Come yeah. on, give me a hand. <laughs> Biggest mistake of my life, not marrying this woman when I had the chance. Yeah, you always did have a colorful memory of things. <laughs> anyway, it's too late now. As you can see, I have gone and hit my prime. Well, I heard what happened with Hickson. Oh. Evil son of a bitch. Where you, uh, where you been all this time? Recovering. Lying low. Couldn't barely get out of bed for six months. And your nephew? Lem. Still in jail, as far as I know. Uh, you seen Danny Lee yet? Oh, yeah, I've seen him. Cooking for the Braithwaites now. Guess me and him were done. Well, there's always Marcel. Heard he's not working for Leclerc anymore. Well, there's a windbag, but he knows his way around it still. Yeah, maybe. Feels like it'd be much easier for everyone if I just stayed gone. Mm. But life ain't about being easy. I am taking back what's mm. mine. Mm. I need legs, though, and I need muscle. Oh, you'll get that one, this one, and more, I promise you. Two of us already got a nice little business going. As long as you know, won't be pretty. I don't do pretty no more. So uh, what's the buy-in? First things first, I need a cookhouse. What's wrong with this place? Been empty for a while now. No, I need a good basement. I reckon I could try and get one of my old spots back up and running. Bastard seized them all after the raid. You buy me back one of those. I reckon you'll have a fair enough investment. Teach you everything I know. So what you say? Uh, believe me, nobody knows more about moonshine than Maggie. Listen to her. You'll make that back in no time. Come on, the two of you were made for each other. All right then, partners it is. You meet me back there when you can, we'll work out what else it is we need when we get set up. Uh, can I offer you a ride, Miss Fike? Suppose so. Well, maybe we can stop for a drink on the way. We just had a drink. <laughs> I know, now I want another one. Some things don't change. 
McMillan! Get down here! This has got to Madam, stop! Madam, please! No! Uh, yeah, I'll be right with you. I know you're <laughs> up there! Oh, marvelous. There she is. Just what I need, the crazy wood nymph. Can't a man take a bath in peace? What the hell is that? It's a panther! Oh, you savage! And a nice clean one now, too. This is going above the mayor's bed. Okay, uh, Mrs. Hobbs will be by to handle the taxidermy. Oh, travel safe, my friend. Wait, who are you? Where's Cecil? Glenn. I'm a friend of his. Cecil had to take a few days off. Mm-hmm. For stress. Is there any oh. animal that you have not slaughtered? Oh, you flatter me, Miss Sorry, Gabbard. I really Ford. will be right with the you. The answer's no, but I'm retired, as you know, and have been for some time. Yes, and how many have you out there killing for you now? Not nearly enough, I'm afraid. Business is booming. What about you there? You a hunter? Gus McMillan, master craftsman of fine clothing and accessories. Here's my card. I pay top dollar for animal furs and parts. The rarer, the Don't better. Don't listen to him. Unbelievable. How do you sleep at night? On the tiger bed spread, my dear. Seriously, come see You're me. You're no better than a murderer. And one day, you'll be seen as such. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you mind taking this outside? I don't want to Shut trouble. up, Glenn. Listen, soon as a squirrel finds a cure for tuberculosis, let's oh, talk. If intelligence is the barometer oh, of who has geez. the right to live or die, you should have been court-martialed at birth. Annoying, isn't she? <laughs> See him? The only thing he had on his mind was hunger, sweetheart, but I pulled the trigger. Survival of the fittest, didn't that your mentor's trite catchphrase? It's not survival of the fittest. You are killing to line this your own pockets. This is how I make my living. We don't all have a rich daddy. While you're camped out in the woods, making witches' brews and talking to the wildlife, the rest of us are doing some you real work. You think this is some big joke? Oh, oh, that, that's enough! No. You ah, is that ah, crazy ah, shrimp? Ah, ah, they ah, should ah, throw ah. you in an asylum. <laughs> That's it! I quit! You can tell the mayor I've gone home! <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry about that awful man. Harriet Davenport, I've been in the field now for three years, studying the hidden interconnections between animals of all species. <laughs> I've seen everything. <laughs> Joy, disgust, regrets, envy. <sighs> We're so much more alike than we are different. I'm on the brink of discovering the pathways that link all life. I, I just need more research material. I have in here detailed notes on pretty much every animal from armadillo to anisberg, including the locations of some truly impressive varieties. I would be willing to sell this to you if you will commit to bringing me anatomical samples from live species and <sighs> promise not to carry out any more animal side in pursuit of Gus McMillan's greed. I'll pay you. I'll pay you, of course. I promise I'm good for the money. Let's learn. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, we've been brought together for a reason. I strongly feel that. I've been experimenting with tonics that can provide access to remarkable new pathways of communication with other species. You have to live as they do, eat as they eat, hop as the toad, dig as the mole, love as the badger. <laughs> if you see what I've seen, you just have to open your mind. Join me on a voyage of discovery. I thought you said they'd be here. That's what I thought. Is this them? Nope. Oh, well, there they are in the wagon. That's her. Oh, there. You all looking for the Twin Rocks gang? Isn't everybody? I got them for you. In the back. Go ahead. Count them up. They're all there. 
One, two, two and a half. Let me get you your money. That's something. Bringing all them boys in, you know. Bounty hunting ain't so hard. Any fool can do it. I ain't so sure. How about you there? You fool enough to try? Become a bounty hunter? There's a board up at most every jailhouse and post office. The sheet's going up regular. All you need is a license, which the sheriff will sell you. You can take down a poster and go. Alive, get your full price. Dead, a little less. You go after one of the big ones, I'll tell you what I know about them, as a favor. The worst that can happen is they kill you. Hey, there's only nine. I counted them twice. There was ten when I pulled up. I know you're hiding out there. You got ten seconds to turn yourself in. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. No. Two. No, please. One. Please, no. There's your tent. Clean it up, Archibald. If it ain't all here, I will be back. I'm sure you will. That one there might want a bounty hunting license. Help him out, won't you? That true? You want a license? You want to get registered, you're gonna have to say. Here you go, then. You are now permitted to use all appropriate force in the apprehension of outlaws in these states. You are a bounty hunter. Good luck. Hello, stranger. You don't got the eye. Just an eye for a deal. I told you, go away, old man. Nothing but false prophecies and fake jewelry. Go away, or I see much pain and suffering in your future. <laughs> a crook and a charlatan. Uh, Make sure you know what you're getting into with this one. Hey, please, don't listen to him. I am Madame Nassar. Channeler of spirits, finder of lost things, and, since everyone seems to be a fortune teller now, seller of the strange and exotic. Which one of these can I help you with today? Wait, don't speak. Let me see. Yes. Yes. You're searching for something. What, though? A dead lover. Whose spirit you wish to contact on the other side? No, no, it, it's not that. It's not something you've lost, but something you're missing. Yes, purpose. Some meaning in the chaos of this life. Well, you see, that is something I can help you with. Come to work for me. I say I find things, but really, it is others who do the finding. I tell them what I'm looking for, and they collect it for me, from far and wide. Sometimes with ease, and sometimes through great hardship. It is work that can be as honest or dishonest as you want it to be. Hmm. How about it? Do you want to be one of my collectors? I make sure they are rewarded quite handsomely. A small fee is really the least I should ask for giving you what you're looking for and setting you up with everything you need to get started. There are more tools you may want from me in due course, but first, you will need to prove yourself. If you don't want to start now, you can find me again, and the offer will still be there. What is it to be? Excellent, excellent. What I have something I think you'll find very interesting. Here is a list of things that I need and a map that will set you on your way to finding them. It is amazing what you will discover now that you are paying attention.